Theater here with Heroes Martin Homeschool Academy. Welcome back to class. It's good to have you. Today we're going to be doing a challenge and from our workbook. If you have your workbook, you may turn to page um, to week six, day five. There you'll find the challenge that we'll be working through today. But before we get started, let's open up with a word of prayer, recite our morality creed, and then we'll get right into today's lesson. <clears throat> we thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. Now to our lesson, we shall go. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Also, let's recite our morality creed. You can find the morality creed at the, um, in the front part of your workbook. <clears throat> I believe in Jesus Christ, the Messiah who died and was resurrected from the dead to save humanity from sins. He is my Lord master, boss, and savior. <clears throat> I love God. I love myself and others with the God kind of love. I believe that the Bible is inspired by the spirit of God and is the basis for morality, rights, and wrongs. I look to the spirit of God to understand God's intent behind every letter of the Bible. I abide by this intent and I live to honor God in thought, in word, and in deed. I believe there is a heaven to gain and a hell to shun. Father, please give me grace and mercy to please you more. This is my morality creed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Well, it's really good to have you back. Thank you for joining me. What we're going to do today, if you um, are in your workbook, the instructions say use the shapes to help you find the answer to the question below so what i'm going to do is work with you in um, trying to get a few of these problems solved and then i'll let you work through the final few on your own after you're able to properly establish how how you should go about um, computing and, and subtracting uh, fractions the very first problem says one half minus one fourth what is one half one half minus one fourth. Um, so we have this square here, and let's actually work with this with this square. This square has been divided into four parts, so it's very helpful because we're going to be using a one quarter fraction in our subtraction problem. If I were to ask you, look at this square and tell me what portion of this is half. What portion is half? If you were to divide this square to half, what would it be? Well, you'd probably say, oh, just take either the left or the right side of this vertical line. And I'd say you're right. <laughs> uh, all of this would be considered one half. And this other side would be also considered one half. So there you have it. Half on the left side and half on the right side. Okay, but the... The problem says one half minus one quarter. So we know that these two squares is equivalent to one half. <clears throat> but if we wanted to take half and subtract out one of the four, one quarter, then how much how much of this square would we remove from the half? Well, we remove just one quarter, right? Because here's one, two, three, four parts to the square. If we took this half and were to subtract one of the four, then it would be like taking the half and dividing it in half, if you will. One half minus one four, how much is left after that? One fourth. We took this one half, I'll just, I'll make a picture of just the half portion. We took just half of our whole square, and what we're going to do is remove one quarter of that square and that leaves us with one quarter okay so half minus one fourth of this whole is going to leave you with one quarter so what is one half minus one fourth it is still one fourth okay let's try letter b let's try the second problem the second problem says three fourths minus one half Okay, let's try that. 
3 fourths minus 1 half. Okay, so what is 3 fourths minus 1 half? Well, we're going to go back to our uh, diagram here, our square. And um, in yesterday's lesson, we talked about how to get um, four parts of a whole, very similar to this, one, two, three, four. Each of these represent one fourth. Uh, this is one quarter, this is one quarter, this is one quarter, and this is one quarter. But the problem says, hey, I need three of those four. So there's one fourth, there's two of the four, and here's three fourths. So that's one, two, three of these squares represents three quarters. Now, if we were to have these three squares and we were to subtract one half, then it would be as though we're taking half two of these squares away. Because remember, two of these squares equal half. So if we remove two of these squares or half of this whole square, how much are we left with? We're still left with just one fourth. Okay. So three quarters, remove half, and you're left with one quarter. Let's try, uh, let's try one more, and then I trust you will be able to do the rest on your own. Okay, so letter C says three fourths minus one quarter. Well, that's very similar to this one, isn't it? Yeah, the first one said three fourths minus half equal a quarter. So three quarters minus a quarter may equal, yeah, yeah, but well, let's just solve it together just to uh, to make sure we understand how this works. So we need three fourths, so we're gonna start with the same concept. We took three of these squares because three out of four is three fourths. One, two, three, we can use, uh, we can leave this one out. One, two, three, that's three fourths. But if we were to subtract one of those quarters away, so we have three, now let's remove one. How much are we left with? Well, we're left with half, okay? Two squares is half, whether it's horizontal or vertical, doesn't matter, it's, it's uh, half of the square. So three fourths minus one quarter, which we erased, leaves us with one half. Um, and we kind of already knew that, didn't we? Because we saw three fourths, three fourths minus one quarter is half. Three fourths minus a half is one quarter. It's just, it's just an inverse. It's the same thing. So, um, so yeah. So that gives you an idea of how you can use your squares to compute these uh, subtraction problems. And I think you'll find that it's, it's really easy, especially if you have little things like this around to work with. The next problem says, hey, there went our loaf of bread. The next um, problem says, if you have one whole, and if you were to take away half, then how much are you left with? Mm. So um, I think you already know the answer, but that's just to give you an idea of kind of how you should go about that, answering that problem. Well, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for coming to class and for being a part of today's lesson. And until next time, God bless. I'll be your hero's body, and as you study with hero sport, I will be your friend. So don't you?